Hello and welcome to the Solo Ads Secrets module. This module will help you with everything that you need to know to generate your traffic via Solo Ads. So, how do Solo Ads work? Well, Solo Ads work in a way where it's a form of advertisement sent out to an entire or a portion of an email subscriber list. The rule is you're purchasing your intended audience or targeted traffic in the form of a mailing list. Your main goal is to drive them to your landing page. You may also purchase solo ads to promote an affiliate link. When you purchase a solo ad, the emails sent to your audience are very specific and dedicated emails. The emails are focused on a particular niche or area, depending on the product or service advertised. You usually purchase your targeted audience or intended mailing list via a solo owner where they have already established their own mailing list in a specific niche. You may also contact an ads broker who acts as an agent for this business, just like how a property agent works. When you choose to purchase your list through any of these two channels, always bear in mind that the lists are dependent on the market or niche. You need to scout around to ensure you're dealing with the right broker where they provide you with your intended audience. Different markets have different solo ads brokers. Do not waste your resources by making the wrong choice. This kind of transaction is also made available through Facebook solo ads group. It can be a public or a closed group. In a particular group, there will be solo ads brokers or vendors as well as the buyers. The brokers advertise the lists that they sell. Meanwhile, the customers who purchase the lists can publish testimonials on the group's page. Therefore, the members of the group will get direct feedback and this will enable them to weigh their selection of lists. Examples of Solo Ads Facebook groups are as follows. 1. Solo Ads and Funnel Clicks Market 2. Solo Ads, Ad Swaps and Email Marketing Solo Ads, The Golden Rules There are two golden rules that will ensure your solo ad success. The first golden rule, identify your target audience and be familiar with their demographics. For instance, if you're selling supplements for weight loss, the questions you want to ask yourself are, which age group are you focusing on? Are you focusing on males, females, or both? What type of products are they purchasing? What sites are they interested in and looking at? It's important to identify these factors as it will aid you in being more specific towards your advertisement goals. After you've identified your target audience and you find a mailing list that works for you, remember to keep going two times bigger than your previous round. For instance, if you purchase 50 subscribers on a list and it works for you, continue with 100 subscribers the next round. Continue to do the same each round until you have accumulated your ideal list for your advertisements. Always remember to not drastically go for a huge solo ad to minimize risk and maximize your return. The strategy is to scale it small and go bigger each time. This way you don't waste your resources on gaining unwanted subscribers. Not all the people on the list will respond to your offer. The second golden rule is to stay relevant to your audience. For instance, when your solo ads direct them to your squeeze page, make sure that they get what they came for. If your squeeze page is giving information on your health supplement, don't send them an ad on slimming pills. Yeah, it happens. When you fail to deliver relevant information to your audience, it can go two ways. They will either hit the unsubscribe button or worse, report you as spam. It's important to not only generate and drive traffic to your page, but to sustain and build up your lists as well. Testing and optimization. Always be strategic in your solo ad journey and test run your solo ads frequently through a small sample. As I stated previously, <laughs> test small, scale small, and go bigger. For instance, when you have found a particular mailing list that suits your market and the sample size is 100,000, what should you do? For the first run, you should try only to take 10% of the solo ad block, which means you select 10,000 lists from the entire block. This gives you the chance to track your progress and observe your performance. You are able to identify if the solo ad is in fact the suitable market for you. If it didn't work out the way you planned, devise a new plan and improve. 
Most important, you are not taking a risk you can't afford to handle as you are scaling it small. When you figured out your game and set up your game plan, my suggestion is to gradually increase your solo ad by 10%. Don't scale it up drastically. Remember, consistency and sustainability are always the key. As mentioned earlier, from the 100,000 subscribers, you have had your test run of 10%. Continue to purchase the next 10% from the same block and test run your ad again. If you found out it is working for you, then go for the next 10%. This is how you should test run and scale your solo ad if you're relatively new in the internet marketing scene. Keep going and increase your momentum by 10%. Once you've got the hang of it, it's smooth sailing from there. Test small, scale small, and go bigger. Yay. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.